Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate on this 21st day of November the memorial in honor of the presentation of the child Jesus, the child Mary, into the temple. And we offer with all of our prayers and petitions, we continue praying for all the holy souls of our faithfully parted relatives and friends. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, once again, let us ask the Lord forgiveness for all of our sins, renewing our trust in the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have the power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic names Sodom, and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts, because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. 
Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you with a ten-stringed lyre. I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally the woman died also. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry. But those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels. And they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And he is not the God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Even though today on this memorial that we're celebrating on the, the, the feast of the presentation of the, the Blessed Mother into the temple, the ongoing readings that we have in this 33rd week of ordinary time are very fitting for us. This gospel passage that Jesus is speaking of eternal life. And those who are the Sadducees, the scribes, the Pharisees, they are the attorneys of the law of Moses. They are the ones who interpret scripture and tell everybody what they are supposed to do and what they are not to do. So Jesus, when he was speaking of the kingdom of heaven, what did he have to contend with? First of all, as with the Sadducees, these people are very sad, you see, because they don't believe in anything after this present life. Yes, they are very sad indeed. The Pharisees, they're the ones who, says, who say, that's not fair, you see, uh, that's not fair. What you're doing, Jesus, is not fair because you're breaking the law. So Jesus was caught up between, we could say, both extremes. He, who is the eternal word of the Father, comes to us through Mother Mary. He comes to show us in his living heart a human heart, a divine heart, how to love, how to love God, and how to love our neighbor. So the Sadducees were trying to trip up Jesus with this afterlife issue. And one of them comes up and says, okay, teacher, riddle me this one. What about the case when the woman is left without a child, her husband dies? And Moses gave the prescription, well, the brother will take her as wife and give her a child to have descendants. What happens 
as he is saying in this case, when all seven of the brothers died without leaving any descendants. And he says, well, now let, let us hear this one. When she goes to this place that you're calling heaven, how is it going to be? They're going to be fighting all seven brothers. Who will, be, who will she be the wife of? And Jesus says, you got it all wrong. You have no real knowledge of how it's going to be. Jesus, we imagine that he didn't say you knucklehead, but you can imagine how we can know that uh, as plain as day. Jesus comes to, to speak about the kingdom of heaven and everything that we are doing in our present life is on our journey, on the way to make our final destination. So yes, Jesus makes it straight that in heaven we will be like angels. We, will be, we are children of God because we are the ones who will rise to everlasting life. So yes, we look at marriage as in God's plan and we cannot change anything as God has planned. We are called to fulfill his plan. So in the feast day today that we celebrate the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the temple, it's a feast day that was dedicated in the sixth century in the Eastern Church, a very beautiful church a liturgy that also you can look up on YouTube, the liturgy as it is sung, is very, very beautiful, is the dedication of uh, the entrance of the Virgin Mary into the temple. At, according to the tradition, uh, we don't have it in the canonical scriptures, but yes, according to the extra canonical scriptures, there is the mention of how the Blessed Mother, after she was born, three years after she was born, fulfilling that promise that her parents Joachim and Anne had made to the Lord, she would be offered to the house of God. So according to this venerable tradition of the Byzantine rite, um, which was confirmed by St. John Damascene in the 8th century, the Blessed Virgin Mary, as a child, was brought by her parents, Saints Joachim and Anne, to the temple as an offering to God, and she grew up in the house of God, nourished by the Holy Spirit. And thus, she sought holiness and was shown to be a holy and wondrous temple worthy of the Most High. And this mystery from the early life of the Blessed Mother in our Byzantine Rite is commemorated today on November 21st, as we celebrate also here in the Catholic Church. So it is originally the feast of the entrance of the Most Holy Mother of God and the Ever-Virgin Mary into the temple. And we look at this feast day as the dedication of the Blessed Mother. And she is, as we, the Oblates of the Virgin Mary, understand that very well. She was offered by her parents to God in thanksgiving for this gift of her life. As the spirit of the Oblates, uh, the oblation that we make of ourselves freely to the Lord through Mary's hands, we want to also learn from the Blessed Mother as she was that perfect temple that God had created. Her body, her mind, her heart and soul was perfect because God was preparing her to become that first living tabernacle of the Most High, that she would say yes to God's plan to become the mother of our Lord. So today on this, uh, very special day that's dedicated in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we want to first of all be thankful for our gift that we have, the gift of our hearts to the Lord through Mary's hands. As God blesses us also through our baptism, we renew with much frequency our baptismal promises and our personal consecration to the Lord that we make through the Blessed Mother. In our parish and in many, many other communities, there are ongoing preparations for the consecration to the Blessed Mother. 
consecration to Jesus through Mary. We deepen our baptismal promises that we say no to sin. We say yes to God's love and yes to God's plan. And this is what we ask the Lord uh, through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, this grace that we can truly, truly give our hearts freely and totally to the Lord. In this way, he can work through us. He can continue doing his work of evangelization in the world, that we can become more and more dedicated servants of the Lord, servants of Mary. So we ask this grace today to be able to say yes to the Lord with our whole heart, as Mary had given her yes during her whole life. Amen. Blessed Mother reminds us to do everything that Jesus tells us in our daily lives. We want to ask that strength also to say yes to the Lord. So with the Blessed Virgin Mary, together we pray, Receive us, O Lord. You are our Creator and our Redeemer. Receive us, O Lord. You are our beginning and our end. Receive us, O Lord. You are the joy of our salvation. Receive us, O Lord. We want to commend all of our suffering brothers and sisters and whatever crosses and hardships they have to offer. They bring them to the altar as we present them also through the intercession of Mary that she bring them to the Lord. And we pray, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Blessed art thou thou among women, women. and blessed Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray pray for for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, you received the dedication of the Blessed Virgin Mary as an offering made in love. We ask that through her intercession that you gather all people to yourself. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be God God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, 
He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Santos, Santos, Santos Dominus Deus Abhahot, Leni Sonchedi Eterra, Gloria Tuha, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in Excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, Mark, our Regional Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, blessed Joachim and Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this, this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
deliver us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata undi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata undi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata undi. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Together with one voice in community, we honor our Lord, who is our Savior, the body of Christ. Amen. Praise to the Lord our God, for in Mary, his handmaid, he has fulfilled his promise of mercy to the house of Israel. With those of you who are participating via live stream in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, we offer together a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I believe, I hope, and I love you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, that in your mercy we rejoice in commemorating the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to the temple. May, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen and Throne above, O Maria, O Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumph on each Arabim, sing with us the Seraphim, Helen and earth resound the hymn, Salve, 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 Regina.